much I gotta spend for you to pay down. I deep I got a dick for you to pay down. All the things I did up until right now. Okay. Pipe down. Pipe down, class. Settle down. Settle down. This one's easy. This one's easy. Okay. Follow. Follow along, class. Super easy. Get your pen and pencil. Write it down because it's only two chords I'm about to give you for this song. Okay. Literally. It. It just goes back and forth like that. Get with the song. Turn the song on and use these two chords and play along to the song. And you tell me which uh, uh, how many more chords there is. Anyways. And come back to my comments and tell me. Anyways. D. Okay. A D in your left hand. Go ahead and take your right hand and place it on the F sharp. An A and a D flat. Okay. Do that for me. And you should have this. Okay. Alright, now. D flat. In your left. E. A flat. B. In your right. Okay. That's your right hand. That's your left. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Bass. Trouble. Okay, got it. Then you, okay. Okay, that's it. End of tutorial. <laughs> it's it's only two chords. Uh. If you want to know the melody for the hook right there, you better replay that. I'm not showing that one in this one. I'm not showing that one in this one. Sorry. This is just the chords for this one, all right? It was just a real quick tutorial for the song. I, I wish I had more for you. But I can tell you this. If you want to, let me show you how to finesse something real quick. A little pro tip. You can do I always show this a lot, but... Um, my hands are big, so I can <laughs> I can play this, okay? Um, so not only are my hands big, I can play this whole thing just with one with two hands, all to get very comfortably as well. Very comfortably, I can hit this, all of that, and add that, and then also just roll it all in one and say end up there. Like you can do stuff like that. Now you might not be able to do all of that, so. Super simple. Same thing, less notes. That is just a D, a D. That's a D in your left hand, a D um, in your right, F sharp, and an A. And then when you jump here, it's a D flat, an E, A flat, and B. And you just be bouncing back and forth between these two. Just a little thing to help the people with the little hands. Nothing against people with little hands. My hands weren't always like stretched. That hurt. I play too much. Um, my hands weren't always this big. So either way, that was just a little thing to way able to play it. And then after you get a little better, you can come back to the video and play it the way I play it. Um, take this. Take these two chords and uh, these two chords are really actually like. This chord progression, which just goes back and forth, um, just two chords, it's a really nice one that you can finesse. So, like, uh, if you want to impress some people, instead of just... Which is how it's probably going to sound at the beginning. Slow it down. I'm all, I'm Listen, I'm always for slowing something down. Slow that thing down, arpeggiate. What's arpeggiate? That's arpeggiating. You're hitting the notes within the chord like this. 
in consecutive order like this. Arpeggiating, okay? Arpeggiate that. Arpeggiate it slowly though. But just the right hand. But, you know, keep hitting the bass, but not too much. Now go up. This is nice. People would be like, oh, look at, look at Timmy playing so beautifully. Practice that and you'll be on your way, my boy. Okay, anyways. Um, yeah, that's all I got for this. That's all I got for this. Sorry if, if you wanted more. I got more coming. Sorry? All right. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you later. I hope it helps.